Hi, this is Nancy to Crohn's Intuition. And today I wanted to talk to you about a crystal uh, called Jasper. And it is related to another um, crystal called Chaldonet. But Jasper is readily available. Um, and it there are a lot of different kinds of Jasper. Um, I have, you know, quite a lot of Jasper. I, I love it because it's um, so colorful. And <clears throat> it's like an earth stone. It's very, very grounding. It helps to ground you. A lot of people wear it as an amulet uh, around their neck. They, you can have jewelry or, you know, ladies can tuck it in their bra or uh, keep it in your pocket. Uh, have it close to you. Um, if you had it by your bedside table uh, in the morning when you get up, you could hold the stone in your hand when you put your feet on the floor. Ground yourself. That's what Jasper does. It's one of the things that Jasper does. So, um, it is considered a healing stone, but mostly, um, like I said, it's for grounding and it's to uh, for well-being, for you to feel good about yourself, um, uh, a very positive uh, stone. It, it gives you self-confidence, uh, especially in artistic endeavors. Uh, so I'm going to show you some, some Jasper now um, that I have in my collection. The first one is called Brecated Jasper. And this is what it looks like. This works. See, I, I got this. It has a little, like, for an, whoop. Oh, dear. I dropped it. Let me see here. Now, you know, I don't edit my videos. I'll be back in just a minute. It's a slippery little sucker. This one has um, this engraved in it. But this is brecated jasper. See the different lines? Now, this is also brecated jasper. So, you know, a stone like this you could easily carry with you. Hold it in your, um, your non-dominant hand. Uh, that's what everybody says to do. Um, feels good. Feels good. Now, these work with the root and the sacral chakra. Um, like I said, it 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 rem, it has positive energy. It removes negative energy, and uh, it helps to remove shame and guilt over past experiences. Now, this, this is another piece of brecated jasper. I love this. It's very, very special to me. It's a sphere. You can see all the different colors. I mean, when you contemplate this stone, when you when you when you hold it in your hands and you look at it <clears throat> and you see all the different facets of it. Almost looks like the world, doesn't it, with, with countries? Uh, you can get lost in this stone. This is a good stone for, that I think, for meditation. I mean, you, you just get lost in this stone. You appreciate the beauty and you think about the grounding. Um, and it's, it's very special. Now, the next one is yellow jasper. I just have a little piece of this, but I think it's beautiful. Yellow jasper uh, promotes self-confidence and um, it eases unnecessary worrying. It's a protective stone. Jasper, all jasper is a pr protective stone. Now the next one is called lion, it's a lion skin stone, but it's jasper. And if you look at it, 
<clears throat> I guess it looks like lion skin. I don't know. I've never been close that close to a lion. But anyhow, <clears throat> I do love this stone too. It has, you know, it's been tumbled, but some of it is, you know, still a little rough. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Now, the next stone is, I guess, this is my favorite jasper. It's called polychrome jasper. And it is supposed to stimulate your mind and your creative skills. And it promotes um, strength. Now, here is one piece that I have. Isn't that beautiful? I just fell in love with this. I mean, it feels so good in your hand. You know, this is what I keep by my bedside. Now, the next one that I have that is also polychrome jasper is this sphere. This is not perfect. It has some cuts in it. But you know, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> I still think it's beautiful. You think these came out of the earth and, and you know, this was in a chunk and they, they polished it and caused it to be round. Now, I love this piece. This is polychrome jasper. I want to show it to you. I, it's hard. It's because it's, it's big. Now, what I like about this stone is you see this guy? To me, that looks like a monk meditating. And down here's a little bit. Oh. Somebody must have walked by outside. And everybody's on full alert. All three dogs. This looks like a little tree to me. This looks like a ledge. He almost looks like the hermit, doesn't he? So this... Oh, and it's so cold. It feels good. This is uh, the last piece that I have to show you. Um, I hope, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you Google uh, Jasper and see all the different kinds, you know, you'll see one that just, oh, knocks you off your feet. You, you just, you really need it for your collection. That's the way I am. Uh, but anyhow... This is Nancy at A Crone's Intuition. Thank you for joining me. Namaste, my friends.